Hey guys, I can say hello now that I've given my paint rundown. <laughs> okay, this camera is where it's supposed to be. Um, I'll just leave it. Okay, I'm gonna pour everything in the cup. I think you can see that over there. Now this pour is similar to Gina DeLuca's, I think her first satin enamel video. I don't know that it was the first one, but one of them. Uh, this two something, what was it? Her video 203, pretty positive. Now she did a straight pour, but this is a little different. I'm trying to recreate what I've done in the last two videos. There'll be three videos. This is the third one. In the last two, one of them I used Artist Loft paints primarily. And in another one, I used a couple of Jerry's Artorama uh, Creative Inspirations paints. Uh, the yellow and green one, <clears throat> of course they all had different colors. The yellow and green video was the Jerry's and the color seemed a little more vibrant. They didn't mix together and they didn't fade out. Uh, in the other video, the artist loft. It doesn't seem to like the two parts flow troll that I'm using in all three of these videos. It fades and um, yeah, I'll show you a picture of the dried result here, here, somewhere. So in this video, I'm using all Liquitex. Um, and I'm only putting the satin enamel in the yellow, as I have done in the last two videos. So all three videos have the satin enamel in just the yellow. And they're all mixed. One part paint, two parts flow trawl, and uh, water to thin. <clears throat> and about a tablespoon, give or take, of Liquitex pouring medium in each color. Because when you're thinning it out so much, whether it's Floetrol, it helps, but I mean, it's a lot of liquid. I put a lot of water in this with the Floetrol too. So you need something to kind of hold it together. Hopefully that little bit of Liquitex is enough. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna just pour these in. I'm gonna pour the yellow in last. It's probably the heaviest. It's gonna sink down to the bottom. Uh, in the other two videos, I did a rain pour. Okay, here we go. leftover paint that I can play with later. Oh good, it's already settling up. Just a little bit. Uh, that was about 400 milliliters of paint. So in this cup, it was about up to here. This is uh, two cups, 16 ounces, and I put about 400 milliliters in there of paint. So that was about 14 ounces. Of, that's a lot of paint. Gosh. Is that right? Yeah. It's about 12 ounces. I 
I'm gonna leave because if I don't, I'll start tilting. Mm. That's pretty sad. So I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, I've been gone 30 minutes. Had dinner, and I don't think I need to wait anymore. I don't think it's gonna do anything else. But I still have my rose. Mm -hmm. Let me take you down for a close up. Okay, well, you can see what happened. I don't need to explain. <laughs> I still had the colors left, so I made up more of the diazony purple. And we're gonna go again.
This time I put about a teaspoon. There's about 30 milliliters of that quinacridone magenta. I put about a teaspoon of the satin enamel in it. So I've got it in this yellow and in the magenta. And of course it lightened up the magenta a little bit. Half ring pour, half straight pour. Still have some in the cup. Wow, it's already trying to sew up. Maybe I'll let satin enamel sink to the bottom of my yellow cup the last time. Oh, it's so hot in here. Okay, I will get off. Well, there you go. I only added a tiny bit more to the yellow. And I thinned out the paints a little bit. I thinned out that purple. The purple just seems to thicken up on its own.
I like it. That's pretty much what I was hoping for. A little more pink would have been nice and a little less yellow, but hey. Got my big fat cells. I got a lot of little, little cells popped up. I'm happy. Of course, I'll make a few adjustments. But overall, I'm happy. 